Hello and welcome to my tutorial for ArtRage 4. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be covering how to make a seamless tile which is useful for canvas background grain or for the pattern fill tool. Uh, I'll actually be using the pattern fill tool for this tutorial uh, along with the clone tool. All right. Um, before we begin we, ha we want to make sure that our canvas size is the exact size of the image that we're going to be creating the tile from. So what I'm going to have you do is go up to File, and then Import the Image File. Okay? Don't use Import Image File to layer. That's not going to work for us. We want to use Import Image File. Go ahead and browse your way to whatever texture you're going to use, and then click Open. And you can see that the canvas resizes to the exact fit of the image that you have. Okay, So here's my image. That's what I'm going to be using for a tile. Uh, at this point, I'm going to select the uh, Fill Tool. That's right here. I'm going to open my settings panel. I'm going to go up to this arrow and just so you follow along uh, I want you to go ahead and click reset current tool. That's going to make everything on this panel default for us so that everything is going to be set up the way you need it. Okay. So now just go over to the pattern tab here and click on that. And where you see this, this says blobs. That was the last image I had loaded. Uh, it might say something different for you, but you just want to click this arrow and then select load from disk. And at this point, you're going to open up the exact same image. Okay. So I just imported the image that I imported as my background tile for the image fill. So if I click on my canvas right now, you can see I have a non seamless tile working right now. Uh, and you can see where the edges of the, the image overlap or don't match up rather uh, and obviously that's not beneficial when you're trying to make a seamless tile. Uh, to counter this what we're going to do is add a new layer and you just click that plus sign puts a new layer up there uh, and then we're going to go over to the bottom tool panel here and select the cloner and again, I'm going to have you go up to that arrow on the settings panel and select reset current tool just to make sure that we're starting at the same base. And it looks like everything is selected as we need. I'm going to turn off auto flow. It's, you don't have to do that though. I just prefer that. Okay. Now, for those of you who haven't used the cloner tool yet, you may want to watch my video on how to use the cloner tool because uh, I'm not going to go ahead and cover all of this for that. Um, so if you haven't, go ahead and watch that, pause this video, and come back to it. Okay. Uh, for the rest of us, we're just going to go ahead and set our cloning point. And I'm doing that just by holding Alt and clicking right where my cursor is here. And you can see it put the dot down for my cloning area. Now I'm going to put my pen down right on this edge in the center for the horizontal and then start cloning. And you can see that I'm just pulling the information from the upper top area and bringing it down here and getting rid of that seam for us. I'm just going to do that randomly all the way across. And then I'm going to do the same for the top. So I'm just going to replace my point up here by holding Alt and tapping. match up right here in the center, start drawing. Okay, and there I go. So it looks like I've erased that seam pretty well. If I had the uh, bottom layer, you can see what I've done. It's kind of a cross symbol, which is covering up my seam. One more important thing we have to do before we go ahead and save this is go up to View, and then select Canvas Settings. And on this panel, you'll see canvas lighting. You want to turn that off. And again, I don't want to really get into that because there's it basically involves ArtRage's 3D lighting factor, uh, but it's going to throw things off if we have it on. So you want to make sure that that's turned off at this point. Uh, now we can just go up to File, select Export Image, and then save it. Uh, definitely save it as a new name. 
I'm going to make it the same name but with a number two at the end just so I know it's the uh, updated version. And now we can test it. So I'm going to go ahead and hide all this information and make another layer. Select my fill tool again. It's already on pattern. But at this point I'm going to load the new texture which is Chapa 2 here. Open that up. And now if I click on my screen, no more seams. That's all there is to it. One seamless tile for use as your pattern fill or for your canvas texture. Okay, hope it helps.